another Tuesday, that means another new fish day. So check out what we got. So we got these target fish. Got two of these guys in today. Pretty cool looking. Got a freshwater lion fish. These guys, not the most exciting fish. Definitely uh, not quite as beautiful as their saltwater namesake or counterpart. Some uh, Indo tiger datanoid. And as usual, some flower horns. Got some more arapaimas in. Got two more of these river monsters. And we also got in some uh, samurai puffers again. These guys with the nice red line. Pretty neat. They're uh, actually a brackish puffer. So, one of the new fish we got in is uh, Lima Tiburon. They're actually a live bearer. Kind of cool looking fish. So we just got in another needle nose gar and put them in with the uh, barracuda and a hyphen uh, Akara cat. And I think there's a little Jardini in there with them. Another thing we got, um, I believe these are local bred Epistogramma Cockatoidi uh, Triple Reds. They're not showing too many colors right now, but um, when they get a little older and ready to mate, they show quite a bit of color. We've got some uh, saber tusk barracudas and a little red tail cat. There's a lot of kids in here right now. Here's another one of those elephant nose knife fish. So here are the arapaimas and. Uh, Samurai puffer out of their bags. Oh, it's kind of going wild in the bubbles. We also got some uh, Kelberry peacock bass. Um, got some uh, red Tugelsi bicher and uh, Ornata pinus bicher. Some more uh, flower horn. Got um, an African Vitatus uh, tiger fish. Oh, everybody's a little frisky today. And here's another samurai puffer. These guys are really cute. And some Thai blue silk flower horns. Some pretty young ones. And we just got in some uh, red tailed catfish, a whole squad of them. And next to that, we got some electric blue Akaras. And some really young red belly Paku. And finally, some green scats. So, here's another target fish. Alright, so we also got some new Cory's in. Uh, these are some. Septentrionalis quarries. Sorry, it's a new one for me. That's the name. Septentrionalis. Um, of course, some long fin pandas. Some punctatus quarries. Uh, Acotomacalitus quarry. Some more pandas. Little young ones. Long fin Aeneas quarries with some real long fins on them. Some Habrosis. And red sailfin Venezuelan quarries, but uh, they don't really have much color at the moment. They're still young and they just came in like 20 minutes ago. A Dolphoy quarry. Some skunk quarries. San Juan or Elegans quarries and some Julie's. Imeus quarries. Wow, these guys came in tiny. Oh, those are pygmy quarries. Huh. I wonder why Imeus? Maybe that's another name for them? Or... 
Yeah. Or it's just a different kind of pygmy. They do look a bit different. That's a new one for me. Some uh, emeralds and gold green quarries. Also not have much colors in. These are similar quarries. These guys look pretty cool when they get older. So I might be tempted to pick a few of these guys up. And over here we have Mate quarries. Some Sturbys. And then uh, Melanistrus quarries. On the Pleco side, we got some big old green phantoms in here. We got two of them. And then uh, we got a Schneeball and Sistress and a King Tiger Pleco. It's pretty neat looking. It's a LDA 33. Some bushy nose. We got some nice little clown Plecos. These guys are great because they stay small. Over here we got a, a, a zebra picoltia and a butterfly picoltia. Pretty neat looking ones. Gold nugget and a tiger. Got another, um, this is a blue phantom actually. Is that a mango? And another royal. Yeah, this big old black galaxy vampire Pleco. It's got some beautiful spots all over him. Definitely looks very galaxy-like. So as usual, we've got some uh, locally bred um, Apisto Cacatoides Triple Reds. And some local bred angels. Looks like a some black lace, some marble, and looks like some Philippine blues. And over here, we got the neons. We got some green neons, haven't let out yet. Gold neons. And regular neons. We also have some more licorice garamis. These guys are really cool. Mine at home are starting to get kind of blue fins on the end, so they're starting to mature. We also got in a whole bunch more discus. Kind of crowding over here. Look at all those beautiful discus. Speaking of which, I just got some really beautiful ones in at home yesterday. Maybe I'll show those at the end of the video. So, we got a little banjo cat with uh, African butterfly fish. Kind of the regular oddballs we always get. Some uh, Du Bois cichlids, De and I. Um, got a little buffalo head cichlid in here with a uh, rainbow shark. Got a multipunctatus, Judeochromus. These guys aren't new. See. Got a little electric blue Acara. These four line cats, when I was getting them out, uh, they one of them jabbed me with the barb they have near their gills, and it was surprisingly painful. I don't know if there's like a little bit of toxins in it or something, but it uh, was throbbing and not very pleasant. <laughs> yeah, a little red terror. Yeah, rainbow cichlid. Elephant nose. These guys are always fun to watch. A chocolate cichlid. A little leopard uh, tenopoma. They're always so cute. <laughs> Got some uh, German rams. Some balloon rams. And here we got uh, some different gudgeons and gobies. Got a neon stifid and goby. A klingon stifid and goby and a peacock gudgeon. Then we've got some electric blue balloon rams. A silver hujetagar. And albino rainbow sharks. We got a little archer fish. Uh, some calvis. Some regular old convicts. 
blue convicts, a little green Severum, and a Farloella. Got a Peruvian green Severum, and some little honeycomb Tatia cats. I've always wanted to get these guys. One of these days I'm going to set up a tank just for them. Look at that cute little face. Then some Dabawi cats. And red tail sharks. Got some cute little stone catfish. These guys are always a ton of fun. With like little anchors. Normal uh, pike. King Kong puffer. Some uh, Raphael cats. A uh, dolphin mormorid. Another King Kong. Yeah, that's a baby whale. <laughs> Another green severum. A crazy goby. Black belt cichlid. And American flag killies, which are beautiful but very violent. I had a customer come in who bought them without knowing and I guess whoever was working at the time didn't warn her and she lost a lot of fins on some of her other fish so she just brought those back today. Got a shadow cat, some shadow cats and pictus cats. So not much new over here. Got another fugu puffer. None of these guys are new. Got a large uh, green spotted puffer. Uh, let's see here, what's new? Some black bar silver dollars. And uh, the little five star general. Another fugu. And. As always, gotta have some uh, rope fish. And there's a um, black feather fin knife in with them. And that's about it for what's new up here. I almost forgot, in here with the Dabawi cats, we got an empire gudgeon. This little guy's not showing much color right now, but they get quite beautiful. Um, once they get a little older and are getting ready to mate and attract a mate, I'll show a picture up of what they look like. Hey guys, um, it's now Wednesday morning. I actually didn't get a chance to finish editing everything last night, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. I ended up getting some of those Lamia Tiburon uh, live bears. They're over there in the back here in the quarantine tank, um, alongside some Haitian live bears, which I got a little bit back as well, um, which actually have already started to breed inside the quarantine tank. I found some fry in there this morning. I also wanted to show you guys, over here, I got some new discus. So, if you guys have noticed, uh, Zenzo Tazawa, Tazawa Tanks put up a new video um, going through my fish room here. And I ended up giving him uh, some of the discus that I had in here and another tank. And uh, kind of instant karma, like the day after, a customer came in saying he was shutting down his discus tank and gave me the same number of discus for free. So gave some away and got some for free. And these are definitely some of my favorite discus that I've ever owned. So worked out pretty nice. I may end up moving them to the 150 gallon at my brother's house. Otherwise, um, I'm thinking of getting another larger tank to put in this spot because it's definitely at capacity right now. But yeah. So I hope you liked uh, the video. I'll uh, be putting up another one hopefully later this week. And uh, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.